goals. So like I said, you get the five yard in, 12 yard dig. Okay, so we get the same thing here from Devontae Adams and Foster Moreau. Okay, so basically what this does is it really puts, especially against zone coverage, okay? It puts these linebackers in a bind. They got to choose where they want to come and get Devontae Adams. So she was like cover four. These guys, he's not going to come follow. If it's man, he's going to follow a little bit, but you're still getting a one-on-one -on -one with the linebacker here with this in route if you get man-to-man. -man. So let's go uh, run this real quick. All right. So you see exactly what I'm talking about here. This linebacker, he's jumping Devonta Adams because guess what? It's Devonta Adams. Jared Sidham does a good job of getting some good anticipation on this throw. Great timing here to hit Foster Moreau as soon as he sees that linebacker drop. So we'll go back a little bit. You see, as soon as he sees the linebacker drop, he's letting that ball go. It's a great read by Jared Stidham. You see it right there into that zone. least there uh right there perfect that's how you i mean that's that's how you run levels right there that's pretty textbook <clears throat> i don't know I just, every time i watch jazz to them and i especially going over this offense again I just, I just like him a little bit more and it's kind of bothering me <laughs> not gonna lie to you guys let's go back see that one more time so you see how they switch it off. And you see Adams up here. He has a one-on-one, but Callahan, he's going to drop into that zone a little bit. Nothing there. All right, so now we're getting to the deeper digs, all right? So this is what I call the deeper level. So we get the 20-yard dig and the 12-yard, right? So instead of, instead of the little five yard we're getting a 20 yard dig on top of it it's called this double digs i mean basically it's kind of a variation of levels in my opinion so let's check this out how is this gonna work now we're getting some it's not a same type of thing that they're bracketing darren waller right so you're gonna get one-on-one -on -one outside here on this deep dig okay now against these cover seven looks you're getting a one-on-one -on -one with this deep dig a lot you'll see this uh when we go deeper into this you get a one-on-one -on -one with this safety so if the quarterback has time, he can hit that, right? And get a good chunk play. So especially on third and long, third and tens, they really like to go to this play because you can get some good chunks, put a little stress on the defense. You see Derek Carr, he's able to hit Mac Hollins on the second level when they're bracketing Darren Waller. Great route by Mac Hollins. First down. Let's go to this next one here. With this one, we're getting, as I was talking about, you get a lot of these one-on-ones with the safety. So you get the dig here, and then you get the in route on this next one. Right? So though, like I said, you're getting a one-on-one -on -one with Devontae Adams and a safety. Okay? Now, Derek Carr is, is a jailbreak here. You got guys on the floor. But he does a good job of stepping up on this one being able to get to this dig right because they're co they're covering cold pretty damn well right playing cover six basically you got this quarters over here the quarter quarter half they say and then <laughs> and then you, it's right you get the one-on-one -on -one with adams it makes this easy blows right by that safety safety has no chance touchdown so if the quarterback has time especially a lot of these two high coverages you can get a good look against a safety right so here we go again here's his double digs one more time. We'll check it out. We get too high one more time again. Once again. All right. So, you know, we're getting this dig route. Now, they're going to be playing cover two this time. This, this cover two is not the best coverage for this design because you really, the main option you have here is. Cole, and you're gonna need a lot of time as you can see Jared Sidham does not have the time to get to Keelan Cole here he's gonna have to get rid of this football and it's covered up pretty well uh, maybe if he has some time he can step up hit Devontae who's passing by Fred Warner if he had time maybe he could hit Keelan Cole but I mean you need a lot of time to hit this but he does a good job of just getting rid of this ball Foster Moreau all right all right, so 
last one we'll be looking at here is you know the infamous fourth and two here now now this one let's take it back kind of the same kind of look getting the quick in like i said deep dig all right so this is this is money time this is fourth and two for the game right and they're playing inside leverage i mean they have a good idea the jags of what kind of route he's going to do but i think renfro does runs a good route here as you can see watch check this out all right he does a good job of, of crossing face of this guy with a nice little arm over right gets enough separation on this but we get a little pressure cars throw off his back foot and ends up going high he's not able to make this reception so you can see it teams can have an idea of what the raiders like to do when he's in these two by twos i also would say Derek carr should just went here and it's a little nice little check down you know this you know i mean you might got made fun of but hey we, we, the games keep going so <laughs> and, then, and then uh you know tries to hit riffle here and i think he really try to force this one downfield a little bit the pressure just don't up all the abdullah man you know what i'm saying all right guys well that is levels hope you guys enjoyed that little breakdown right there let me know how you, how you guys feel about that concept. Like I said, it is a go-to on third and longs. They like to run this a lot. So check it out. Let me know what you think. Peace.